everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be completing our elite series 88 reviews on trish stratus and Kushida, as well as ranking this set from worst to best man we're going to at the end of the video after we've taken a closer look at trish a closer look at Kushida, and everything going on with it we're going to rank this set from worst to best and see where everybody stands man it should be really fun if you guys missed the roman reigns and Rey mysterio review or the mvp and matt riddle reviews definitely go check that out i would greatly appreciate it if you guys would like to grab any of Elite Series 88, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, dive into all the different things, and uh, save some money over there using code MDTOYS. But before we uh, get into it, man, I've been pretty disappointed in this wave. It looks fantastic, but you guys know as well as I do, if you watch the other reviews, we've had some trouble with some of the figures in this set, which we uh, will probably cover again in the ranking. However, this video is not about the four figures here, man. I mean, at the end, it will be, but the main focus here is going to be on this Trish Stratus figure that's pretty controversial man it doesn't uh i'm not liking what i'm seeing so far but who knows what could happen once we get it out of the packaging and then we have a beautiful Kushida figure which is probably one of the best in the entire set and uh, i waited to the end to review him so i figured people would want to see what this figure is all about with all the different goods we got going on but let's shut the hell up and dive into it man front viewing window of Kushida and trish stratus on this side you get an image of both the talents there on the back you do get a bio read if you want to read it pause it now rest of the figures on the wave that we've already reviewed definitely go check those out same image we hate it let's spin it to the front man and go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging man no more uh, need for talking let's go ahead and see if trish stratus and Kushida can come in at top of the ranking all right, guys, so here's Trish Stratus and Kushida out of their packaging, man. Trish Stratus, oh, man. And Kushida's looking damn good, but Trish Stratus, oh, dude. But the Kushida is really, really good, and I like everything going on with it, man. But the Trish Stratus, man. Woo! Anyways, guys, we're gonna dive into these things, man. Let's, let's just start off with Trish Stratus, right? Let's start off with her accessories. We'll dive into her figure, and then we'll run it back, take a closer look at Kushida's accessories and Kushida himself, and then at the end of the video, not only am I gonna rank the figures in this set from, a, you know, worst to best in Elite Series 88, but my wife is also going to help me, and I'm gonna try to keep that trend on every single review we do in the future. If you guys like those segments, please let me know down in the comments section below. If you guys missed our segment from yesterday's video, definitely check it out as well, but I think it's fun to see her input and see you know uh, what her thoughts are on the figures and all those different things you know kind of gives us a different perspective but anyways guys let's dive into Trish Stratus's accessories and then we'll dive into the god-awful Trish Stratus all right guys so for Trish Stratus's accessories we get a decent you know little things here and there you get two pairs of interchangeable hands a hat accessory and a cloth entrance coat which is actually really nice now I will say it's not accurate because it was like a long leather trench coat like kind of like stings or Finn Balor's from his demons that we've gotten in the past but this is still really nice it fits the figure well you guys saw how it was but it is this cloth accessory here and i'd much rather have this than a big rubber ugly terrible awful god terrible not good awful worthless idiot dumb stupid moron idiot dumb rubber jacket so this is nice i don't care if the rubber's accurate or the leather's accurate i'm sorry i don't really care about that but it looks really good it's even got the collar on there and everything going on so i like this a lot this is nice and it has the nice folded wrist cuffs which is really good touch as well ain't gonna cover that face though bradley let's get into the hat accessory this is a pink cowboy hat she used to rock the cowboy hat, man, and it, it, you know, that was kind of part of, like, her entrance gear there for a while, and I think it fits the head sculpt really well. Either way you put it, I don't even know which way it's supposed to go, but either way you put it, it covers the head sculpt well, and, you know, you can pull it down and cover the face up so you don't get some of that ugliness. No, but in all seriousness, man, it just doesn't look like Trish Stratus, which we'll get into, but outside of the cowboy hat and the black entrance coat, we also have interchangeable hands, like I said, so you are gonna get the mic holding hands, which look good, no nail polish or anything like that, even though I'm pretty sure her nail were always painted and then you have like these pointer fingers here so kind of like casting a spell creation of man style going on this finger's kind of slightly broken but i can fix that no issues but i like this hand sculpt you know i like the interchangeable hands giving us different options and stuff like that you can get creative with it but that does it for trish stratus's accessories man so with that being said let's dive into trish stratus herself so diving into trish stratus man i just uh i just don't see it also i have a little bit of like lipstick or something on the nose there but like it just doesn't it look like Trish whatsoever, man. Like, it just looks like a random blonde fan or something. Am I insane? Like, it just doesn't look like her whatsoever. It looks off. The mouth looks weird with the teeth painted like that. Super skinny face compared to, like, Trish's round face shape, I would say, especially for that time frame. The blonde hair looks good and everything like that. I like the hair sculpt going on. This attire that they went with is super plain Jane as well. It's just black and pink. No graphics. Single jointed arms. It's just a really plain Jane figure with a not-so-good face and a nice 
nice trench coat. And you may be able to get away with it on your shelf, you know, for your, your, for your specific shelves, you may be able to get away with it. But I don't know, man. I just don't like the way that the face looks whatsoever. I just am not seeing Trish at all. You guys can let me know what you think down below. But solid black top, pink outline right there. Solid pink trunks. Very plain Jane. Again, no wristbands or anything. Just single jointed arms, which I don't know why they did that. Black knee pads and black kick pads. That is literally it for this figure. You can also see the, the belly button there. But I don't know, man. This is just a miss for me. This may be one of the worst releases in a minute. At least in just like in my head. But yeah, man. Definitely disappointed in the Trish Stratus figure so far. And then for your Trish Stratus figure comparisons, guys. Here's the Hall of Fame Elite Trish. And this figure is much more superior. It has a better likeness to her. I know this is more of a later Trish, but I just like, this figure is just better. I know it has single jointed knees, which kind of sucks, but single jointed arms, I mean, they have like the same kick pad mold. They're still using that kick pad mold all these years later. Really need to get away from that, please Jesus. But I think this figure is probably more accurate in height, maybe. This one may be. It's five foot five, so I don't know. I guess we'll, I don't know. But Jesus, dude. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. Not feeling it. So for Kushida's accessories, man, I love what we got going on here. They kind of went all out on this guy. The first thing that we have, guys, is his entrance vest. Very, very soft rubber. Now, they couldn't really do this cloth because they made this cloth, which I really like. I kind of like the difference in textures right there. And it's very, very flimsy. Like, it goes on the figure really easily, and it's got good sculpts going on with it. So I don't hate it at all. I actually don't mind it whatsoever. This seems to be a new sculpt. I don't think this is, you know, anything that we've seen, you know, in the past. So it's got a nice bright orange color. It looks really good and it's accurate. I like the way it turned out and everything. And again, it's really easy to come off. It's not going to hinder anything. So that's really good about a vest. And he does come with a cloth accessory, which is so good, man. This long sleeve with the undershirt underneath and the polka dot pattern. And it does have the Velcro on the front. So you get like this kind of gray heather pattern going on. It's like a dark gray, kind of grainy looking. It's got the collar on there. Very nice shirt. You know, he's got his back to the future gear going on. He's got his hoverboard pants going on, which we'll get into. But you got the nice cuffs with the polka dots on it. Very nice, man. Man, I want more stuff like this. Like, if they could give every figure a cloth accessory, even if it's just a regular t-shirt, that would be fantastic. Because this looks great. This is, like, what we love to see. Collectors love to see this, man. This is excellent pieces right there. We'll show what it looks like on the figure later on. Outside of that, you do get some nice shades right here. And we're going to plug that on the figure, see what that looks like. I think it looks pretty good. You know, you got the modernized style glasses going on. You know, kind of plain Jane. It doesn't have, like, a reflective material on it, but it still works. I think it gets the job done, and I like the way it looks. And then outside of that, guys, you do get interchangeable fisted hands. One of them has black tape on it, and then one of them is plain Jane. So his left hand is plain, and his right hand has uh, tape on it. So you guys will see here, he also comes with pointer fingers. So the right hand has black tape, and the left doesn't have any tape. And then last but not least, he has the magical, but not so great, slash psych, it is amazing, mic holding hands. Black wrist tape on the right, no wrist tape on the left, which is fantastical. So mic holding hands, pointer fingers, fists, visor glasses, beautiful vest, and beautiful cloth plaited shirt deal. Let's go back to the future. So diving into Kushida, man, really liking the head sculpt as far as I'm concerned. It looks just like Kushida. I like the skin tone that he's got going on. I love the fade haircut on the sides right here. The man bun looks really good. Facial hair looks really good. I really, really enjoy the Kushida head sculpt. I think it looks just like him, honestly. Like every image I've seen, every match I've seen of the guy, I like the torso choice. I think it works out nice for him. Going down into the elbow pads, you do have the black elbow pad. He has the double jointed arms, black wrist tape over here with the hand tape. We covered that in the interchangeable hands portion. He's got his watch over here on his wristband for, you know, tying in all the gimmicks and stuff like that. My favorite part of the whole figure has got to be the white gear, man. Look at this sick hoverboard Back to the Future inspired gear with the graphics going down the sides there. Any Back to the Future fans, you can let me know down in the comments section. Got the Buddy Murphy crotch, but he does have ball joints, which is really sick. You love to see that. White trunks mold. Maybe I can get a Kevin Owens made out of a future Kushida or something in all white. White knee pads, white kick pads and again you continue continue on you continue on the same graphics going down man really sick figure man like holy crap i've seen a few kashida matches in my day always liked him in the ring i don't really know if he was able to sec you know like separate himself in nxt but i've always been a fan of the guy's matches he's always put on bangers he works really hard in the ring and he looks great in there too like the gear is sick and everything like that but that wraps up our kashida figure man like also just great articulation on this guy he feels really good in the hand he's got the double 
jointed arms. I'm not noticing any like loose joints like MVP or anything. He has the removable head and all that like we covered in the last few reviews. But dude, that's a pretty damn good football figure, man. We'll see where he comes in when we rank the set. All right, guys, it is that time of the review where my wife comes in and gives us her honest thoughts on Elite Series 88 Trish Stratus and Kushida figures. All right, guys, jumping right into it. We're going to start off with the Trish Stratus. It actually bothers me that um they're behind the wrong boxes, but it's fine. No one can see that but me. Let's see. Starting with the Trish figure, uh, I've got to say, first first initial reaction is it, it doesn't look good at all. I actually don't like it. I think that her face, they did not capture the likeness of her face at all to me. Uh, just my personal opinion. I, the, I mean, they, yeah. It's like it's too skinny or something. And um, I don't know if you There's guys can see paint. this. There's Let's like see. I was going to say. No, it's, they really messed up the makeup altogether. Like, me as a is female. Like a misprint? They overdrew drew the lips, mm -hmm. and then there's paint. There's, like, it, lipstick on her nose. Yeah, it could it could just be a misprint, but... Maybe I mean, a misprint. it doesn't look like Trish Stratus from that time period. I, I'm sorry, but if this was my figure, I'd be pretty mad. I would, I'd be mad. So if you were Trish, you'd be If upset. I was Trish, I would be upset. That actually looks horrible. That looks like knockoff brand great value yeah, brand Trish, Trish. Stratus at home. Yeah, this is Trish Stratus at home. When your mom tells you you got, got food at home, this is the food at home. This figure, this is the Hall of Fame Elite, I believe, and it looks significantly better to me. I mean, it's obviously an old version of, you know, what she used to look like, but wow the difference between these two just look at the faces i mean well, this is actually the flashback this is more of uh i want to say like sometime like maybe 2012 or 13 maybe okay well they need to go back to this because this just just looks better i don't well, they've released this head sculpt with this blonde hair but they tried to go for true effects and i don't think it landed brad i don't think it landed look at the face shape though like even the yeah, heads like, are smaller this captures your face shape it's more like round this is like so skinny yeah she's on drugs and then i'll tell you what just coming from somebody who like actually enjoys makeup and understands it to a certain extent uh i think you know her lips it looks like they've actually got them like she's had them done in real life and instead of just making the lips bigger they tried to outline them with a color to make them appear bigger and they and then that just was awful mm. sorry i hate to say it but not no what not good at all Kushida? all right going into Kushida, I, I stayed a little while on trish sorry about that but it's just bad um Kushida, first figure let's I mean, see you, i don't think um, you've ever even seen I've that. i have nothing to compare it to uh, i've also never seen him wrestle before you see he's got like the back to the future gear it's like the hoverboard on the side of the pants. Yeah, I love the gear. I think the gear looks sick. Also, good articulation, and nothing seems to be loose, so that's good. Um, just comparing it from the picture that's, like, on the back of the box, I think it looks a lot like him. Uh, looks, I mean, everything looks good. This is definitely much better than the Trish figure. I mean, I think anything could be better than that at this point. <laughs> but, I mean, it actually feels good, looks good. I've never seen him wrestle, um, but, I mean, I think that if that's what he looks like, I'm assuming it does, just going off the picture off the box, I think it looks great. All right, now that we've reviewed the full wave, uh, would you like to do a ranking of the full set? Yes, let's do it. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where I rank Elite Series 88 from worst to best, and this time my wife is actually going to help out and do her own ranking. So before I do my ranking, she's going to do hers. So you guys know the criteria for the ranking. You know, there's a lot of things that go into it for me at least. So my criteria for the ranking is typically excitement level for the figure. How does the figure feel in hand? Is the likeness good? Does it look like the character? How much am I going to use it? You know, how the figure feels in the hand, posing it around, all of those good things. Accessories comes to mind as well. But uh, I'm going to turn it over to Wifey and see how she ranks this set. So what do you think? Start off with your worst and then work up to your best. All right, guys. So I played around with these two figures since I was not included in that review for these two. So Matt Riddle, MVP. Um, I'm disappointed in the loose arm over here for MVP. But Matt Riddle, all in all, I, I like it. I think it looks good. Um, I'm going to have to say that Trish is absolutely the worst one. She's hard to pose. No likeness at all to me. Doesn't look like her. It's just not a good figure. It, I don't I don't like it. That one's going to be the worst for me. All right. This is kind of tricky, but I'm going to have to go with MVP for the next worst, only because of the loose arm. I no. I actually think the figure is easy to pose, um, but the loose arm, I'm just not a fan of, of when they... I mean, come on. You can do better. That's, that's your job, man. Make these figures good. Come on. That's, that's You had one job. Come on. All right, so that's going to be my next... And also, my criteria may be a little different because I'm not posing them all the time. Um, excitement level, I'm pretty neutral among all of them. 
So this is based off how they look and feel in my hand right now. So my criteria, my criteria is actually going to be probably a little bit different than his. Um, I'm going to go with this one next only because, sorry guys, I don't know a whole lot about this guy. It looks good, real basic. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna have to say this one being exactly the same. I'm a Roman fan, y'all know this, but it's exactly the same. They knew the figure would sell, so they didn't do anything to it. Boo. Ooh. Actually, honestly, I could have probably put that one further down than I did. Wow. Um, I, I shouldn't have been as biased, but I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize for being biased towards Roman. I actually probably should have ranked him a little bit lower than I did. Man, same thing with this. I, I can't stand this right here. I, I don't know. It's just, come on, do better. So I guess my top pick is actually the Matt Riddle figure. Looks wow. good. Looks like him. Poses well. Easy to stand. That's for somebody like me that's a, a beginner at all this. That's my number one. So. so Matt Riddle comes in at the number one spot. Now we will dive into my ranking and see if uh, it lines up. So let's go ahead and recap. She had the Trish Stratus coming in at the bottom of the ranking. We had MVP at the number five spot. Trish, you suck. Coming in at number four, we had Kushida. Coming in at number two, we had the Big Dog, the Tribal Chief. Coming in at number two, we had Rey Mysterio. And the winner of the Elite Series 88 is going to be none other than Matt Riddle. Three. You said two. Three. Did I say two? Yeah. Because four said three. You said two, man. Hmm said three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a pretty good ranking right there. Pretty shocking to see MVP that low. I don't even know how I'm going to rank them just yet. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into my ranking and see where it compares. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where MDT ranks the set from worst to best, as you guys know. And you guys already know the criteria. We just covered it in the video, so I'm not going to go through it once again. But uh, let's go ahead and dive into our figure ranking, shall we? Starting out at the bottom of the list, man, not a big shocker, man. We're going with Trish Stratus. I want to like this figure, man. I really do want to like this figure. I love Trish around this time. You know, she really was the, the top of the top. Her and Lita were the top of the top when I was growing up, and she really, really solidified women's wrestling, I would say, for the WWE. But this figure, man, just doesn't look like her. It looks nothing like her, really. It, it Like, I just don't even see this figure as Trish. It's just it's more of like a blonde female r woman, you know? It's just, I, I don't even know. But that comes in at the bottom. I don't think that's really a shocker at this juncture. The rest of these, man, it's really, really hard to rank because all five of these figures are pretty damn bomb. But uh, I'm going to do my best to try and do this, man. But Jesus, it's going to be difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. Because these guys all are great figures and they have really good accessories too. So And, and their likeness is there. You have the double jointed arms. There's a lot of things about this wave that is so freaking cool. But next up, guys, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns simply because it is a re-release. Even though the figure's damn good. This is a damn good figure, man. I, I mean, I, I it really makes me sick to even put it here. But I really, just because we just got the top picks it's it's just so hard to to rank him any higher than these other figures that are so damn good so i'm gonna put him here at the number five ranking even though that's ludicrous it's totally ludicrous but it had to happen man next up in the set i'm gonna go with the Rey mysterio actually i'm gonna go with mvp i'm gonna go with mvp you know what i think the Rey mysterio slightly beats out the mvp the mvp head sculpt is phenomenal the 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 body is really good but the loose shoulders just really the loose arm right Right here and the loose shoulder just takes me out of it man really bummerific he also only comes with two chains for his accessories and he doesn't have mic holding hands but figure looks just like mvp it's such a good figure but uh he's coming in at the number four ranking you guys already know how i kind of feel about it i'm gonna go with Rey mysterio at the number three ranking single jointed arms the rest of the wave does have double jointed arms so that docks it a little bit also hit the torso like look at that dude like that's awful man great head sculpt great poseability i will say also this like leg will not bend for me for whatever reason man like look at this like it's like the knee joint at the top right here is stuck or something and it will not articulate this one's fine like you guys can see there but the other one will not bend all the way so that really upsets me but you know it's a Rey Mysterio figure so he can pose around really well he only has single jointed arms so and that's a loose torso so that sucks eggs head sculpt is probably the best Rey they've ever done except for the eye patch but it's still a great looking gear and it's a Rey Mysterio next up guys two and one what are we gonna go with I'm gonna go Kushida number two and Matt Riddle number one. I really enjoy this Matt Riddle a lot. Like the posability feels good. I love the double jointed arms. I love the accessories. Head sculpt could be better, but I just like the way the figure feels in the hand and I like the way it looks, man. I really do. But the Kushida figure is so damn good, man. So sick. Great gear. I just wasn't that excited for it. Once I saw the promo images, I was really excited for it. But as far as like the length of time I was excited for, not that much. I really love the gear, the freaking Back to the Future gear. The head sculpt looks great. I just don't know when I'll use a Kushida, but it looks 
looks really, really good. So here's my recap, man. You got Matt Riddle, Kushida, Rey Mysterio. Look at the abs, man. Jesus. MVP, football, and Trish Stratus. But that pretty much wraps up my ranking of this set, man. Again, if you would like to grab any of the figures in this wave, man, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all the deals. Pick up some AEW, some WWE. Get in all that, uh, get in on all that stuff, man. Do not leave that stuff behind. It's really great. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, man. But overall, had a ton of fun reviewing this set. Trish Stratus is uh, pretty... Also, the gear is just plain Jane, right? I love the cloth, you know, entrance jacket. She has some things going on, but at the end of the day, I just am not a fan of it. It's easily the worst figure in the set. Overall, though, really good set. Like, I'd say five out of six bangers here. The MVP, loose shoulders, sucks, but it looks so good. The Roman Reigns is still a really good figure. If you didn't include the top picks re-release, such a good figure. So just standalone, such a good figure. Kushida's accessories are insane. Matt Riddle, man. Really great wave overall. I had a ton of fun reviewing this set, man, but let me know your ranking of the set down in the comment section below, man. That is going to do it for my review of this full wave. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Trish, the loose shoulders, the loose ab crunch, the head sculpt, the Kashida arms are a little loose, and the re-release of the top picks football game. You cross the